Mitchell here from the Big Happiness Experiment with a brilliant uh, biohack for your brain this morning. So um, did you know that your brain has two hemispheres? I would think most of you do. If you just have a little look, this is my brain, not really obviously, but your brain is divided into two parts, your left hemisphere and your right hemisphere. And your left hemisphere is the part of your brain that is really like a massive, great big storage system, big filing system in your brain. And it is known as the analytical brain. It is known as the brain that pattern matches. It stores everything. It sequences. It loves numbers. So it's that side of your brain. Now, the right side of your brain is um, often referred to as the creative brain and but it's much more than that the right side of your brain is where your intuition lies it's where you can actually think outside the box and you can um, really sort of look at big picture thinking and I like to class the right brain as the right here, right now brain. It's where you can be really present, present in the moment, which I call uh, presentism. So why am I telling you about the brain for this little biohack? Because it's important to understand these two sides of the brain so that you can actually um, think about how you're going to utilize it for, um, for the best for yourself. So what I'm going to ask you to do is to start asking the right questions. Notice I put right questions in there, not the left ones, not the left brain, but the right brain. Okay, so I am an eternal optimist and um, if, any, if you know any other optimists uh, in your world, you'll probably know that optimists can often be late for things because optimists always think that they can do one more thing. They can just do that before they leave. And then what happens is you end up running late. <laughs> Now, one of the big things that um, we can do when we're running late is lose things. So, for instance, lose your keys, lose your phone, lose your bag, lose, you know, whatever it is that you need, your wallet. And I know for me that for many, many years, I really sort of said statements or asked questions that were quite derogatory of myself. So, for instance, I would say, oh, Oh, I'm so late. What? Oh, where's my keys? I can't find my keys. And I'd be go, oh, why am I so stupid? Why don't I ever leave my keys in the right place? Why can't I just be on time for once? You know, and you do all this sort of negative patterning, really. So when you do that, your little left brain is really really busy looking for all the reasons for why you would never leave your keys in the same place and why you're so stupid when you say oh, why am I so stupid your left brain is constantly patting pattern matching and looking for all those reasons and then throwing them back to you so it's a confirmation every single time so if you are a person who does this, just stop. <laughs> when you realise you are in that, that frantic lateness, that frantic beating yourself up because you can't find things, just stop for a few seconds and reframe and start to ask a different question. The question is, why am I so good at suddenly remembering where I put my keys last? Why is it that I am so brilliant at using my brain to know exactly where they are? Why am I so calm now knowing that my keys are, I know I'm just going to go find them straight away. Now this isn't something that we would normally do. 
<clears throat> but I can tell you I have shared this technique, this reframe, with so many clients and organisations over the years and it really does work and I use it myself, yeah, I really absolutely bring this into practice. So, <clears throat> excuse me, what I want you to do is I want you to start asking the right questions. Now this is also a technique a biohack for your brain that you can use when you wake up in the morning. So if you're waking up and you're thinking, oh, another day, another got to do this, got to do that, change your re change the frame that you are you are looking through, change the lens, and instead ask a different question. Ask why am I going to be so productive today? Why is it that today is going to be just a brilliant day where I just get everything done that I want to? Why is it that today I'm actually going to feel really calm? Why is it today that I'm going to see so many good things that make me feel good today? Can you see the difference? There's such a different energy about it, There's, but it's actually happening in your brain, you are choosing to actually ask the right questions. So that is my little biohack for your brain today. And um, if you want to find out any more biohacks from Jules Mitchell, me, from the Big Happiness Experiment, then just have a little look at our YouTube and there's plenty more on there for you. Take care and joy shots to you all. If you've enjoyed this video, then I would highly recommend you check out the courses that we have available at the moment. On the Big Happiness website, you will find links to any courses that we've got available. Two that I would highly recommend to you are one, um, Hardwiring Happiness. That is a seven day experiment into learning how you can start to hardwire your brain and your nervous system for happiness. It is jam-packed with tools, with techniques, with knowledge, with the science of self. So that's number one. Number two, if you fancy a deeper dive and a much more experiential experience, then I would recommend BOOST to you. Now, BOOST stands for Biohacks to Optimize and Organize Self-Exploration and Transformation. Basically, it's about helping you to build real resilience um, amid fear and uncertainty. So if you're ready to make sense of your thinking, your behaviours, your negative patterns, uh, those patterns of protection that I like to call them, um, then Boost would be a good place for you to go and uh, explore yourself. So have a look at the links and I hope to see you there.